uncovers paintings, sculptures and other incriminating documents worth 40 crore rupees in the ongoing DHFL multi-crore scam. CBI grills Ajay Navanda, alleged aid of Chota Shakil in connection with funds diverted to purchase paintings worth 40 crore rupees. Republic accesses pictures of 35 super exclusive photos of seized luxury items. Details coming up on this channel in this show. Amid the crippling economic crisis in Sri Lanka, thousands of protesters descend onto the streets of Colombo. Demand a resignation of Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Protesters breach Rajapaksa's official residence. Tonight, this is going to be a very interesting episode of uh, This Is Exclusive as we get you pictures never seen before an issue which was brushed under the carpet a story that no other channel will talk about the Dawood gang the link that has now emerged in India's biggest bank fraud case that is being probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation in this edition we'll break it down for all of you who are tuning in right now why exactly is this case so very important why is it that the Central Bureau of Investigation is actually putting number of officers on this particular case to probe the link? Many say that this is just the tip of the iceberg. On your screens right now are those very images that you perhaps have never seen. These watches, whom do they essentially belong to? Let's get you the details. Central Bureau of Investigation had conducted searches in an ongoing investigation of a case that is related to alleged loss of about 34,615 crore rupees to a consortium of 17 banks led by the Union Bank of India at the premises of two persons in Mumbai and Devan Villa in Mahabaleshwar which led to the recovery of large number of paintings, sculptures and some cash and other incriminating documents. Now the value of these artworks is estimated to be around 40 crore rupees as per the initial estimates. During the investigation, it was found that the promoters had allegedly diverted the funds and made investments in various entities. Now, let me bring it, break it down for all of you who are tuning in right now. Whom are we really talking about? A man who goes by the name of Ajay Navantar. His residence in Mumbai was searched yesterday by the Central Bureau of Investigation in connection with the DHFL's scam. This is one of the India's biggest bank fraud case amounting to about 34,000 crore rupees. Tonight, we are getting you this entire list. What you see right now that I'm holding is that entire list of the recovery that has now been made by the Central Bureau of Investigation. And on your screens are those images of those luxury watches. And now, let me break it down. Uh, how many luxury watches are we really talking about? And what is the link all about? We'll come to the link in a short while from now, but let me first begin by the list. I'll try and read it out for all our viewers who are tuning in right now to understand that these are the items that have been recovered by the Central Bureau of Investigation. And if I am correct, perhaps this is for the first time such high-end watches have been recovered by the Central Bureau of Investigation, perhaps one of the largest seizures that have also been made by the agency. First in that serial number that we have is Graham Chronography Sword Fish. Let's also put out those images. We'll come to the paintings in a short while from now. Let's go back to, to the images of uh, those luxury watches. Rolex watches, Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date Just Swiss Mate. Third is a Versace Sapphire Crystal. Fourth is a Cartier, a Cartier watch. Fifth is the Zenith EL Primero number 18. Sixth, let's just quickly keep moving with those images of uh, the luxury watches as I read out uh, the brands. A Chopard number, Hermes, Arado, Perlet, Rolex, Oyster, 
perpetual day just dube ublot katia again various uh, models of katia michael kors carrera rolex again frank muller royal oak offshore omega dior Madel, vachero katia once again and raymond fence apart from that a cash amount of four lakh has also been recovered is what we are being told let's now go across to our reporters in a short while if they are ready we could also go across to our reporters uh, on the ground in fact in a short while from now we'll also be broadcasting live from outside ajay navandar's residence in mumbai the only channel to get you full details of this uh, case that is being probed by the central bureau of investigation and then we'll also break it down for all our viewers right now what exactly is this case all about let me quickly bring in my colleague alisha while we stay with those pictures i'll ask our producers to stay with the pictures even as we get alisha on the broadcast alisha a super exclusive tonight on republic tv 35 uh, pictures that have been accessed by republic tv all of this belongs to a man called ajay davandar who exactly is this person and why exactly is it, is it so very important uh, to actually put out details of this case because uh, at the end of the day as it is being touted as india's biggest bank fraud case so for all of viewers who are thinking perhaps it was nirav modi uh, perhaps it was vijay malia no it appears now that we are looking staring at another big bank fraud case we'll get into the details of uh, the bank fraud case in a short while from now but let me uh, quickly hand it over to my colleague alisha who's also reporting on this story very closely who are those uh, det- who are these people and uh, in a short while from now we'll also go across to my other colleague uh, vivek who's in mumbai and he would be reporting from outside ajay navandar's residence first over to you alisha for all the details Well, Shavan, thank you so much for getting us those exclusive information and photos of luxury items uh, seized by Central Bureau of Investigation. And as you rightly pointed out, that, that, that this is something a tip of an iceberg because agency is now going to probe very deeper in the case. If I details that you have managed to get exclusively for our channel, and of course we are seeing the visuals of a uh, 35. 35 photos the photos only with republic tv where we can see that it's a luxury item seized by uh, central bureau of investigation and if i t- talk about the information that you have asked uh, yes uh, central bureau of investigation has questioned ajay uh, navandar in uh, connection with its probe into the alleged of a uh, 34615 crores loss caused to the to the bank headed by union bank uh, of india nsc by dhfl so this is something images on the uh, cbi that is looking into the matter is really exposed is completely exposed the link between dhfl and d gang moreover uh, navandar who was a question regarding certain funds that is allegedly diverted by wadwan and uh, ed has arrested uh, dheeraj and kapil uh, wadwan them in connection with a money laundering case in connection a uh, uh, link to ikbal mirchi and on friday where uh, central bureau of investigation has conducted searches at uh, divan villa in mahableshwar uh, the fir that is uh, if i talk about the fir that was registered by central bureau of investigation last month where uh, it on the instructions of the wadwan where dhfl has disbursed some of the loans in the company that has been controlled by uh, wadwans and uh, uh, this is a part of money that has been diverted to companies controlled by dhfl promoters that is dheeraj and kapil wadwan and sahana group as well where they have also prima facie financial interest the image shows it's all uh, shavan importantly the 35 images that you managed to access for our channel right now on our screen which clearly shows how the money that was diverted a biggest uh, uh, fraud a bank fraud that has been done we know that there were lakhs of people who were suffered due to which but the real fact that has come into emerge and cbi has been looking into the matter more deeply because what have informed by the sources that this is something a tip of an iceberg because the probe will go deeper where not only about the dheeraj wadwan or a kapil wadwan but it's also about the new character as you mentioned it about ajay navandar who has been into this who diverted some funds to and he was linked to the d gang is a what clearly image into the investigation that has been conducted by cbi Well in fact uh, we are also getting in some more breaking news uh, right now in a short while from now details uh, that I'm getting from my top sources 
that some of those paintings, let's just, these paintings that you are seeing right now, they were apparently provided by Kapil Vantwa. Not all paintings are that of uh, Ajay Navandar. It is uh, those of uh, Wadawan. Uh, paintings are not of, uh, these paintings that are, uh, we are being told right now, some more details now coming in. Paintings are not of Navandar, but these paintings belong uh, to Kapil Vadawa is what uh, we are being told right now. Those are the details uh, that's uh, coming in. Let's also put out those details. These uh, these pictures that you see, these paintings, once again, let me repeat, these paintings uh, belong to Kapil Vadawa. Is the Vadawa family is, uh, who actually own it. And uh, with regards to Ajay Navandar, uh, apparently most of these luxury watches uh, that were basically recovered from uh, the residence uh, of uh, Ajay Davandar, but the paintings are from uh, the Vadawans. That's the clarification uh, that we would like to put out right now. Those are the details that are coming in. These are mega expensive paintings that belong to Shakil's aid and Vadawa also. And uh, important to point out here is that these are these these uh, luxury items that we are looking at right now. They have been connected to the Vadawas. Uh, so the f money that they were actually getting in, what was it being utilized for? Let me also go across uh, right now to my colleague uh, Vivek who's joining from outside Ajay Navandar's residence. Uh, Ajay Navandar's residence was uh, searched yesterday by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Vivek, ye bataiye ki kal jo chanbin hui aur jo searches kiye gaye uske baad uh, kya baramat hua hai aur saath hi saath jo link ki baat kar kiya ja raha hai chhota shakil ke saath jo link ki baat uh, kiya ja raha hai usko lekar cbi ka kya kehna बिल्कुल शवन जिस वक्त ये छापा पड़ा उस वक्त कई सारी चीजें सीबीआई के हाथ लगी उनके लगातार हम तस्वीर भी दिखा रहे हैं रिपब्लिक वर्ल्ड पर मोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिव तस्वीर है और इस वक्त जहां पर मैं मौजूद हूं ये वर्तमान अपार्टमेंट है मैं चाहूंगा कि आप इन तस्वीरों को देखिए ये वो अपार्टमेंट जिसके पंद्रहवें माले पर अजय नवांदर का फ्लैट है पंद्रहवें माले पर कल रेड की गई थी और इसी पंद्रहवें माले पर कल जो चीजें बरामद हुई है जो पेंटिंग जो जो मूर्तियां जो पेपर जो डॉक्यूमेंट जो रोलेक्स वॉचेस जो सब चीजें हुई हैं ये बड़ा महत्वपूर्ण है कि इनकी कीमत तकरीबन 40 करोड़ है और जब से ये पूरा मामला सामने आया है करीब चौतीस हजार छह सौ पंद्रह करोड़ का ये पूरा बैंक धोखाधड़ी यूनियन बैंक के लेट में ये सत्रह बैंकों का समूह जिसमें ये पूरा कथित तौर पर बोगस कंपनी बनाकर ओनली ई से लोन पास करा लिए गए और शेल कंपनियों के माध्यम से जो पैसा इकट्ठा किया गया उसको इन मूर्तियों में इन पेंटिंग्स में खपाया गया तकरीबन पचपन करोड़ रुपए की राशि इन मूर्ति में इन पेंटिंग्स में खपाई गई उसके बाद जब रेट की गई तो वो मूर्तियां बरामद हुई शवन मैं आपको बताऊं कि यहां पर कुछ जो मूर्ति है वो इतनी महंगी है जिसकी जिसकी कल्पना कोई भी नहीं कर सकता तकरीबन 25 करोड़ तक की वैल्यू निकलकर सामने आ रही है हालांकि जिसका जिक्र आपने किया अजय नवांदर जो छोटा शकील का मददगार बताया जा रहा है अंडरवर्ल्ड का कनेक्शन निकलकर सामने आया है तो अब यह मामला बड़ा पेचीदा हो गया है और इसको लेकर सीबीआई लगातार रेट जो कर रही है वो काफी महत्वपूर्ण है कि उसके हाथ जो तथ्य लगे हैं उससे एक बड़े खुलासे होने की उम्मीद है अंडरवर्ल्ड का कनेक्शन और जो बैंकों के मामले में जिस तरह से ये पूरा धोखाधड़ी का जो कल्चर निकल कर सामने आया कि चौतीस करोड़ का जो घोटाला हुआ जिसे घोटाला कहा जा रहा है उसमें अंडरवर्ल्ड का कनेक्शन ये अपने आप में हैरानी वाला है और जो चीजें बरामद हुई पैतीस सुपर एक्सक्लूसिव तस्वीरों के माध्यम से हम उन तस्वीरों को दिखा रहे हैं मोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिव ये तस्वीरें इससे पहले कभी देखने को नहीं मिलेगी हम वही उसी जगह पर है जिस जगह पर सीबीआई ने रेड की थी और उस जगह पर सीबीआई को जो कुछ मिला वो टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर है जो कुछ मिला वो टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर है क्योंकि महत्वपूर्ण ये लोगों को जानना कि कैसे बैंकों में धोखाधड़ी करके क्या क्या कैसे पैसा खपाया जाता है हमने जाना था जो सीबीआई ने कहा था कि इससे पहले जून के महीने में जो एफआईआर रजिस्टर्ड हुई थी और उसके बाद कई जगहों पर छापेमार कार्रवाई की गई कल जब दो जगहों पर छापेमार कार्रवाई की गई तो शवन जो चीजें मिली हैं सीबीआई को वो सीबीआई उसको देखकर हैरान भी है 40 करोड़ की तकरीबन जो चीजें बरामद हुई है उसके आधार पर यह कहा जा सकता है कि इतनी बड़ी मात्रा में पैसा कैसे कानून रूप से छुपाया गया और गैर कानूनी तरीके से उसको खपाया गया पेंटिंग्स खरीदने में और जो मूर्तियां हैं जो घड़ियां बरामद हुई हैं उसको खरीदने में शवन इसमें सबसे बड़ी बात जो है अजय नवांदर को लेकर आ रही है 
और अजय की भूमिका बहुत बड़ी हो सकती है क्योंकि अजय से पूछताछ भी हुई थी और उसमें भी कई सारे खुलासे हुए थे अब महत्वपूर्ण बात यह है कि अजय के पास से जो चीज़ें बरामद हुई हैं अब उसके आधार पर आगे की डिटेल्स निकाली जाएगी सीबीआई के हाथ में वो सारे एविडेंस है सीबीआई के हाथ में वो सारी मूर्तियां वो सारे पेंटिंग्स मौजूद हैं वो सारी घड़ियाँ मौजूद हैं जो कल छापेमारी मिली है अब आगे आने वाले समय में और भी कई जगहों पर रेड हो सकती है शवन Well, let me also bring in my colleague uh, Alisha. Alisha, we had been told that these are proceeds of crime. What we, what has been accessed right now, pictures of those uh, paintings as well as uh, details uh, of uh, those luxury watches. These are uh, proceeds of crime uh, that has been looked into by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Navandar, Ajay Navandar's pictures also now been accessed uh, by by Republic TV. We'll put out the picture of uh, the alleged. Uh, associate of uh, fugitive chota shakil ajay navandar who was questioned by the central bureau of investigation now let's take a uh, through the details uh, these are details uh, that of the case itself let's quickly take a uh, viewers through why exactly this case becomes extremely important and how are the vadavans basically linked to it now the cbi has basically booked uh, the dhfl and its directors for allegedly defrauding uh, 17 banks of about 34,615 cases. Now, this is the biggest uh, case of bank fraud that has been registered by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Before that, it was the, only the ABG uh, shipyard which came close. Uh, that case was roughly about 23,000 crores. Now, the allegation, let's just quickly take you through the allegations that have been leveled. DHFL promoters, including the Vadawan brothers, they are already under the investigation uh, in another case by the Central Bureau of Investigation and the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, in fact, we are being told that the details as far as this case is concerned uh, is that 17 such banks uh, there that, uh, they, that had basically given the loan consortium of, of uh, banks to, which had basically given those loans and then uh, it was basically utilized uh, in ways uh, that have now come under the scanner. Now, apart from that, remember what is uh, in, in terms of this particular case, uh, they are saying that uh, they are essentially looking at how Union Bank of India was, uh, was cheated and this was on the complaint of the Union Bank of India for allegedly siphoning of loans away from the consortium of banks and falsifying the books of DHFL and then creating shell companies which had come to be known as Bandra book entities to make accommodative entries. Now, just these are the details uh, that we are also getting from the FIR that has been accessed by Republic TV. They are saying, this is what the Union Bank of India had to say, that it is further alleged that separate audits were conducted by other private audit accounting organizations and they had identified multiple instances of diversion of accounts to camouflage and conceal the dubious transactions the audits identified several instances where large value loans were provided to such fictitious entities without due diligence and without securities instances of sanctions and disbursement of loans merely by email communications were allegedly found for which no loan files were maintained in the said private borrowers company so let's just to simplify this what does this essentially mean that you're basically taking money from the consortium and then basic and moving into companies uh, you're utilizing utilizing what we are being told concealing these dubious transactions on your screens right now picture the first pictures of Ajay Navandar Ajay Navandar's picture has also now been accessed on your screens Chota Shakil's aid Ajay Navandar's uh, pictures on your screens right now why is it so very important because sources now indicating that there is a larger link that is emerging DHFL's alleged links with uh, the D gang and I'm being told that this is just the tip of the iceberg perhaps in the days to come more are to be unraveled. Let's not forget about the links that certain IPS officers in Maharashtra also have. Their role is also now under the scanner. In another case, in fact, but remember, as far as Ajay Navandar's links with certain IPS officer, rather top IPS officers, what we are being told, is also under the scanner of uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation. Let me quickly go back uh, to Alicia. Alicia. More details basically emerging. Why exactly is the DHFL under the scanner right now? And this is perhaps not the first case and perhaps not the first case where a D-gang link has emerged. D-gang link with the DHFL, not the first. In Even in the Enforcement Directorate's case, we are given to understand a link with Iqbal Mirchi 
had also emerged. Well, yes, Shavan, this is the second instance of uh, alleged, uh, you know, underworld link of uh, DHFL, that is Vadwan's uh, with the underworld. And even earlier, it was with uh, Iqbal Mirchi, but uh, now it has been emerging the link with uh, Chota Shakil as well. So, uh, the images that clearly shows the action that has been taken by Central Bureau of Investigation is something very important because uh, yesterday, not only at uh, Divan Villa in Mahableshwar, but uh, there was also search that was conducted by CBI in Mumbai as well. So, every point of view like every nook of corner that has been taken uh, you know they uh, taken care of uh, central bureau of investigation whether it comes to the uh, largest uh, the biggest uh, bank of fraud case that is uh, registered uh, uh, now with a uh, cbi as uh, you pro rightly pointed out uh, when it comes to dheeraj and kapil wadwan uh, they have been even questioned by uh, enforcement directed and now the link that has been emerged and the photos clearly shows uh, that how it uh, clearly exposed the link of uh, dhfl and uh, the d gang because that was a fund that was a loan, the, the, the loan that was disbursed in many of the companies that is uh, uh, the control, the companies that was controlled by Vadwans and also uh, even Sahana Group, uh, if you remember uh, uh, Shavan where uh, there are Sahana Group uh, members name has also emerged in the case but now what we have showing the pictures of uh, uh, the searches that was carried out by CBI and uh, now the Ajay who has been into, uh, you know he's been uh, uh, under the scanner of CBI, he's been looking into uh, the case, uh, and not only this, because of what we have been informed by our sources, this is just the tip of an iceberg because agency is probing into the deeper, and uh, there are more of the names that would come up, and more searches that is to be conducted by the agency. Right, Alicia, I just want a quick word. Alicia, I just want a quick word from Vivek also. I'll ask our producers to stay with these images of Ajay Navandar because uh, my colleague uh, Vivek is uh, right outside, right outside Ajay Navandar's residence. Let's uh, just put out this this picture that you see right now on your screens. They're worth about 19 lakh rupees, is what we are being told right now. That's the latest information uh, coming in. Uh, Vivek, I want to ask you this question. At this time, we have exclusive pictures of Ajay Navandar. It is said that Ajay Navandar's links are वो भी मुंबई पुलिस के कुछ ऐसे आला अधिकारियों के साथ उसको उसको लेकर भी जांच किया जा रहा बिल्कुल वो अधिकारियों के साथ जो लिंक निकलकर सामने आ रहा है शवन उस लिंक की जांच होगी और हम इस वक्त मौजूद हैं अजय नवंदर के घर के बाहर और बड़ी बात ये है बड़ी बात ये है शवन कि इस अभी इससे पहले देश में कई तरह के इस तरह के बैंकिंग धोखाधड़ी के मामले सामने आ चुके हैं लेकिन ये पहली मरतबा है कि किसी बैंकिंग धोखाधड़ी के मामले में अंडरवर्ल्ड का कनेक्शन जुड़ता हुआ नजर आ रहा है अभी हम श्योर नहीं कर रहे हैं लेकिन इसकी संभावना दिख रही है और इसके आधार पर सीबीआई जांच भी कर रही है अभी सीबीआई इस पूरे मामले को लेकर आगे बढ़ेगी तो और ज्यादा पर्ते खुलकर निकलकर सामने आएंगी हमने ये कोशिश की कि हम वो उस पंद्रहवें माले पर जाकर देखें कि अजय नवांदरकर के जो घर है उस घर के बाहर क्या स्थिति है और जो ठिकाने पर छापेमार कल कार्रवाई की गई वहां पर क्या कुछ है तो हमें जाने नहीं दिया गया इसलिए हम बाहर से ये रिपोर्टिंग कर रहे हैं लेकिन महत्वपूर्ण बात यह है शवन की अभी चीजें और निकलकर सामने आएंगी कुल पचपन करोड़ रुपए की जो राशि है जो पैसा है वो इसी तरह से खपाया गया इसी तरह से वैसे तो पूरा पैसा ही बोगस कंपनी शेल कंपनी और फर्जी डॉक्यूमेंट के आधार पर ईमेल्स के आधार पर ही पूरा पैसा खपाया गया बैंकिंग से लोन लिया गया लेकिन लेकिन जो 55 करोड़ की राशि है जिसमें से तकरीबन 40 करोड़ के जो चीजें हैं वो निकलकर सामने आई है चाहे वो वॉचेज हो चाहे वो जो पेंटिंग्स हो स्कल्पचर्स हो वो निकलकर सामने आया है लेकिन महत्वपूर्ण बात यह है कि अजय छोटा शकील का मददगार बताया जाता है और छोटा शकील जो है डी गैंग का राइट हैंड माना जाता है लिहाजा ये पूरा जो सिंडिकेट निकलकर सामने आ रहा है ये अपने आप में बड़ा सवाल है और ये बैंकिंग कॉन्स्परेसी में इस तरह का सिंडिकेट का एड ऑन होना ये अपने आप में पहला मामला बनता है इसलिए दिस इज सुपर एक्सक्लूसिव न्यूज सुपर एक्सक्लूसिव इमेजेस जो हम दिखा रहे हैं लोगों को क्योंकि उन तस्वीरों के माध्यम से लोग ये जान पा रहे हैं कि क्या कुछ मिला है क्या कुछ मिला है पेंटिंग्स की कीमत करोड़ों में है लाखों में नहीं करोड़ों में पेंटिंग्स की कीमत है और आप देखिए कि कैसा कैसे वो पैसा जो जो 
the paintings and now also the artwork. Uh, the worth that we are being told by our sources is about 90 lakh rupees. All of that parts being a part of the proceeds of crime. On your screens right now, paintings uh, that have been connected to the Vodhavans. Apart from that, uh, these luxury watches linked to, to Chota Shakil, alleged Chota Shakil aid Ajay Navandar. A quick word once again from Alicia. Alicia, latest details coming in. Proceeds of crime, 19 lakh rupees seized uh, item. Uh, it appears to be an artwork uh, that has now been seized uh, by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Latest details also now coming in, Alicia. Well, yes, along with this luxury uh, watches and item that we have been already showing uh, to our viewers, but uh, yes, uh, the latest information that we are getting that uh, uh, these are the artwork uh, worth rupees 19 lakhs that has also been seized by Central Bureau of Investigation. Now, uh, Ashavan, if I can read some of the information that uh, uh, we have been showing to our viewers, that uh, these are the luxury watches that was she uh, uh, seized from alleged Chota Shakil's associate, that is from uh, uh, Ajay, and uh, these are the 35 photos of uh, seized luxury items. Item that we are already showing to our viewers but now that the latest as you've been telling about uh, uh, the framework the artwork that worth rupees 19 lakh has also been seized by a central bureau of investigation and this is something clearly surfaced the link between d gang and dhfl because it's a 25 uber luxury watches that has been seized by cbi and we are the only channel with all the pictures uh, with all the pictures and it is it is around 40 crores worth item that has been Seas and the detail that has already been given that uh, uh, CBI has questioned Ajay Navandar in connection with its probe with the alleged uh, uh, rupees 34,615 crore loss caused by uh, caused to the bank headed by the Union Bank of India NSC uh, by DHFL and uh, if we talk about the Navandar who is an alleged associate of a fugitive criminal Chota Shakil Navandar was questioned regarding uh, the certain funds that is diverted by Vadwans. We know that the FIR that was registered earlier by Central Bureau of Investigation clearly gives an indication and th that has mentioned that uh, on the instructions of Vadwan where DHFL had disbursed loan to the company that has been controlled by Vadwan, that is Deeraj and Kapil Vadwan. And of course, this is the second instance uh, where uh, the uh, Dow, the uh, D gang link that has come up because earlier they were questioned by enforcement directed uh, in connection uh, uh, with a link with uh, Iqbal Mirchi. But now it is uh, Ajay Navandar who is known to right. be the close. Just one quick aid because we are running out of time. Uh, some more breaking so news now coming in by another source of mine. In fact, Alicia, another source of mine, uh, I'll also ask our producers if you can just put out the painting. One is a Tayab Mehta's uh, painting. Let's just uh, quickly go through those uh, paintings and I'll just tell you which is the Tayab Mehta painting because uh, latest details now coming in. That's almost 22 crore rupees. Yeah, that's the picture. That's the picture right now. I'll just ask our producers, go back a little bit. That was the picture of Tayab Mehta, which is about 22 crore, not this one. There is another picture. Let's just uh, move that picture right now and show you which one is Tayab Mehta. Tayab Mehta's... Uh, pictures that are coming in right now uh, that has also been seized by the central bureau of investigation that is about 22 crore rupees is what uh, uh, we are being told luxury watches are worth more than a crore luxury watches are more than a crore is uh, what uh, we are picking up right now that's the latest details emerging uh, fantastic uh, details now coming in from the investigation that has now been carried out by the central bureau of investigation the only channel getting you full details of uh, india's biggest bank fraud case that is now being probed by the central bureau of investigation and in fact uh, i must add uh, that uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg more to come in more people likely to be called in for questioning and bigger names could also emerge Let's not forget the links with certain IPS officers are also now under the scanner. That's what uh, top sources indicated. Thank you very much, uh, Alicia and Vivek. Uh, we'll keep coming back to you for more details on this right now as uh, more and more information trickling in of uh, one of the biggest uh, exclusive uh, 